Hey gang, it's Will from Tested. And it's Norm from Tested. Norman Chan, you have been VRing on your telephone. Oh my goodness. It's not even a development kit. No. It's, it's, it's well, the it's gear. A, it's a dev kit. Uh, it's an innovator edition. That's a dev kit. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Okay. Um, so we already showed you guys the, uh, the Gear VR for the Galaxy Note 4, mm -hmm. which was, you could call this the first official publicly released consumer product for Oculus. Although not really. It's an early adopter edition. It's for, it's for people who want to make games, is right. what it's for. Right. Um, and so we showed you, you know, the ergonomics here. Mm -hmm. You can again see my crazy eyes. Don't look at the light. Oh my goodness. Where's the strap? You took the strap off, Norm. Of course. Why did you take the strap off? Ergonomics. Because I'm not going to wear this anymore. Well, we don't have a um, Note 4 anymore. We don't really. have a Note 4 anymore. Okay. But what we do have is the Galaxy S6. Yes, this is your new phone. You bought this as this yep. is your new phone. Yes. And. There is also a Gear VR Innovator Edition for that. So, well. so just to be clear, this is if you had a Note 4 and you bought the Note 4 Gear VR Innovator mm -hmm. Edition, and, and then, then you want to, you get a Galaxy S6, you have to get a new hard plastic yes. shell. I mean, for if you bought a phone. Note 4 last fall, yeah. and you're already buying the Galaxy S6, fair point. Then you can spend, you can off, you know, unload this for hundred bucks, okay, and then buy this for two hundred bucks. <clears throat> Hopefully, going forward, yes, there's going to be some sort of like this is the thing you buy, and then you just keep jacking your phone in it, at least for a couple of years. And the reason, the primary reason they made you buy a new one is because it's a different screen, yeah. And so the optics are different. You can't adjust. You can't, you know, even if they had different mounts, mm -hmm. the optics aren't optimized for this screen. Got it. Okay. Um, now they do have the same resolution, and what's going to be interesting about using this with the Gear VR is that this is a 577 PP high. The pixel this, density is a lot higher. It's basically the highest pixel density on a single screen that you're going to get right now in the consumer VR. But at the same time, the screen's smaller, so that means theoretically your FOV could be lower, yes. depending on how the optics are placed yes. with, the, with the lens. How, um, what else has changed on the hardware from this uh, It is one? slightly smaller. So if I put these... Like shallower, it looks shallower, like. Shallower, side to side. Yeah. It doesn't protrude as much right there. Can you tell which one is which? The one in the back is the new one. This is the new one. Yeah. And actually, it's, it's like fairly smaller. What the big difference in terms of size is that instead of having this giant face plate where the mm -hmm. phone goes the on, glass one, yeah. it has a cover plate, which oh. I took off. So there's no transparent thing in oh, there? Yes. Yeah. So it's just a cover plate, and the phone goes flush mm. in here. Um, they did also add a fan right here. So I'll show you a close-up look here. Um, so there's air intake that goes in here. And uh, on the inside, if you can see, you can actually see uh, where the fan comes in. Uh, it blows air, so it helps defog. And okay. it actually does work. Um, the fan is activated by the proximity sensor, okay. which is in the same place as it always is, right Down there. Right corner. So okay. once you put your face in there and it blocks this, you can actually hear the fan. Only if you put your ear up to it, Where's you can actually. Intake? Comes in, comes oh, in around the vent there. there. So it's a tiny there. little fan. Very, very tiny. Its sole purpose is to defog. Um, what's that? It's to put over the IMEI on the back of your phone so ah. that you don't put it on the internet and people can clone your phone and do bad things to you. Oh boy, very good. Um, okay, so the fan is new. Mm -hmm. There's a power pass through now. Yes, that's the other big thing. So on the bottom of it, uh, there's also now USB power pass through, um, which I'm going to actually unplug. Samsung Galaxy charger, fast charger, and goes into here. Does um, it normally have its own battery, or is it just powering off of the phone? Powering off the phone. OK. Um, there's not a lot to use, though. A little tiny fan, the touchpad. Yeah, there's a touchpad. It's, uh, they added a little divot here, mm -hmm. uh, repositioned um, the, the back button. It's a little more square now, too, the, the trackpad versus kind of rectangular mm -hmm. before. Up there, yep. Yeah. So you know where the center is. Its primary interface is either with the trackpad for trackpad for swiping, mm -hmm. or use a gamepad, a Bluetooth gamepad, uh, which they sell, or you can use any third-party one. But is that the same gamepad as before? It is. I believe it's the same gamepad okay. as before. I didn't buy it because we have our own Bluetooth gamepads. You're using a DualShock Three or Four or something. I'm like using that? the Amazon one. Oh, the Ooh, Amazon. Wow, uh, that's unfortunate. That's, but okay. well, that's a nice. It's, it's a good use of that gamepad. Good enough. Because I'm not using it for the Fire TV. Right. Um, anyway. Uh, ergonomically, it's not really night and day. Uh, the functionality of having power pass through helps a lot, but I actually do not use it plugged into power. Mm. Um, even though you know power, when you play games, you're only going to get 
one or two hours of game time, two solid hours of you know video watching. Um, I found that's enough. That's totally enough. And by plugging it in as we're doing right now, because we're demoing it when we have to, mm -hmm. it actually it gets in the way. Well, of it gets in the way of you actually interacting with it and moving around. And part of the, the amazing thing of Gear VR and how it differentiates itself from the desktop mm -hmm. Oculus experience or even you know the PlayStation one is that it's completely untethered. So it it seems like it seems like the power plug is probably more of a development thing. If yes. you're sitting there, you're building a game for this, you're gonna leave it plugged in all day because yeah. you're gonna to need to leave it plugged into your into your dev machine so you can pass APKs and stuff like that over mm -hmm. new builds, whatever. Yep. Um, I noticed there's no top strap on this. Is this there your is. choice or is this um, this is a design choice by Samsung? It comes with a top strap, so it still has one. I have omitted it because for the ergonomics of this. It really is like a um, ski goggles. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as it's tight enough on the side. I'm perfectly comfortable with this. And, and maybe that's a testament to you know the weight not bothering me that much. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really don't need the top strap. Not bothering me that much is a long shot from comfortable. Exactly. Though. Yeah. We tr we've tried at this point the design of the consumer Rift mm -hmm. uh, CB1, and that is far away the be the more most lightweight and comfortable VR headset. This is like the opposite. This is still ski goggles. Big and big and clunky. Yeah. Um, what uh, is anything else changed on the hardware? That's it. That's it. I mean, the Galaxy S6, great processor. Mm -hmm. Note 4s had some versions had the uh, the Qualcomm, said the Samsung, uh, the Galaxy S6. As we've reviewed it already, all Samsung processors, very fast. Uh, and we're going to show you some games, so this is mostly a game demo. As before, though, Samsung develops the hardware. Yes. Oculus is providing software and APIs software. And, and stuff like and that. And kind of a standard, I mean, uh, John Carmack and his team have access to more than a regular developer would, mm -hmm. a typical developer would for the hardware. It's still running at 60 hertz, but uh, it looks good. There's and low it has, persistence. Well, it has the low persistence. Low stuff. persistence, and uh, with uh, the time warp, because it's um, it's uh, it's not positional tracking. You don't get you know actual head translation movement. Mm -hmm. You get rotational time warp. It compensates for a lot of that, and it looks smooth. Okay. Um, um, so so guess, yeah, so there was a VR game jam yes. earlier this year, sponsored this, by Oculus and Samsung, right? Very exciting. So or was it just um, Oculus? Oculus, Oculus uh, sponsored yes. it. A ton of money that they encouraged and unity, and unity. Yeah. Um, a, so many teams i think ran for a month from april to may mm -hmm. and then in june uh earlier this month oh my mm -hmm. god it's june uh they announced the winners okay so a game jam is a group of people who get together to make games in a relatively short period of time usually something yep. that takes two three years you make something of limited scope maybe limited art something that's kind of a proof of concept um, they can be themed around a particular topic, like cyberpunk stuff, or in this case, a platform. Some of them are even like, some, there's a game jam that happens on, on a train that's on the way to GDC called the Train Jam. Everybody gets on the train, rides out here, and during the time that train ride takes happen, they make a game. This was the Mobile VR Jam 2015. Right. So 300 submissions, yep. uh, Oculus um, and Unity, they had judges, they like mm -hmm. winners awarded you know, $200,000 in some cases, so the, the first place winners. Um, Million dollars in prizes, that's right. all told. And, then, and they picked 27 winners, including right. some community's choice winners. Um, we have a bunch of games here. Some of them just don't work when we're capturing, unfortunately. That's right. The, the APKs are available, so if you have the Note 4 or Galaxy X6 mm -hmm. with the Gear VR, you can try them. Um, for our purposes, since we're trying to show you guys what the games are, we're mm -hmm. using uh, the Mirror OP software uh, app, which is like a $10 app, because uh, the streaming doesn't work great with the, the GS6. Um, but we've selected a few of them to show uh, some interesting experiences, because mm -hmm. they really want to reward different things you can do with VR. So my glasses are off. Goggles are going on. The You're, first one we're showing. This is Double Destruction. Double um, Destruction. I've got to find it in our big long list here. Uh, but basically, this is an asymmetrical multiplayer game where Norm's going to be in the virtual environment. I have a phone here with the game on it, um, and I am going to help. I'm going to help Norm as he explores this world. Um, this is uh, made by Katie Good and John Campbell. And uh, yeah, it was a bronze games winner. All right. So, okay. Oh, my phone just went to sleep. Waking back up again. I think you're in tutorial or yeah, something. I am. Okay, I found a game. It says waiting for other player. I've started a game. So uh, tell us, what do you see? I see a table with some pieces on it. Oh, 
Wait, oh, well, things well. are happening. Oh. I think you just got some Twitter messages or something. Yeah. All right, there it goes. Five new messages. God damn it! I hear a lot of static coming from the other room. Whew. Okay. Um, you know what? I need to restart my game. Okay. As one does. I might need to restart as well. Yeah, I think I might have brought us all down. Oh, I'm sad now. Uh, it's worth mentioning Game Jam games. These happen in a relatively short period of time. So, you know, I'm looking for. Well, I'm not going to find a game because Norm has his phone out of the headset. It's okay. I got the future. I had to start it as well. Okay. Um, yeah, they're APKs. You sideload them. Uh, you don't launch them with Oculus Home. Presumably, these will end up on the Oculus Store at some point. Yep. Presumably. Presumably. A lot of times, uh, stuff like this ends up being, like, a lot of famous big games have come out of this type of environment, or at least concepts from them. Um, and some studios even do game jams as a, as a like, team building exercise midway through the year. Okay, okay, I'm searching. I've joined a game. Oh, I can see stuff. So it tells me, I protect my friend by scaring ghosts with my lamp. My lamp uses fuel. Help my friend, help your friend to collect more fuel for my lamp. And I can move my lamp by dragging it, refill and relight the lamp by dragging it to the workshop area and moving the camera. Um, and I can change how brightly it is by moving the switch. Okay. So uh, I got to find the runes. And I got to find fuel for your lamp. Yes. And the lamp is also my light source. So. Oh, I just dropped the candle off the side. Oh, no. I'm, it's very dark in here. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. I don't, I'm not understanding. I'm dragging the candle over the lamp, and it's not lighting on fire. Oh, don't go in. Private area. Oh, boy. I don't know what I'm supposed oh to be boy. doing. I'm confused and scared, Norm. Well, I'm the one that's supposed to be scared, because there are ghosts okay, in I'm here. I'm touching the fire part of oh, the lamp. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, my god. Well, you got to go. You got to go. I can't do anything. It's not lighting. It's you. Oh, my god. You there are two ghosts. You fuel. Which, who are you? Okay, so now I see a little top-down map. Uh, you, I think you died. I was hit by a ghost. Okay, let's try again. Okay. We should communicate <laughs> so we get more fuel. That's right. That's good advice. Okay. All right. Okay. Drag candle over lantern. I can't, it says waiting for to light. Oop, sorry. I got to drag the lantern over the candle. Maybe they're up here. Okay. I don't, I mean, I know. need to know how to play clearly. So do you have a, you ready? Yeah, why? Oh, up. I got it. I got it. It's lit now. You got it? Nope. I'm just going to tell you it is so we can move on. So I have I'm all these little cubes here, too. I don't know what they're for. I'm looking for the runes. What's in here? Drag candle over lantern to light it. It seems like that should be lit, but whatever. Okay, I'll bring the lantern over to the other side now and see if, if it helps. Nope. Huh. I don't even see you. I'm in the room that looks like Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay. I just dropped a big giant cube on you. Uh, there's no, there's a, there's, keep, walk straight ahead. Okay. Now turn left. Okay. Now walk straight ahead. You should be at a pet look down. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now um, turn left 90 degrees. Okay. Sidestep, strafe left two squares. No, that's straight ahead. Oh, you can't strafe. Okay, turn left 90 more degrees. Oh, it got okay. dark. Okay, now go straight. Now turn right. Now go straight. Door? Yeah, There's go through the there. door if you can. There's a ghost right on the other side, but if you're really fast, you might be able to get around him. Oh, no, you were captured by a ghost. I was captured by the ghost. I don't know what the fuel looks like. Oh, you got to scare away those ghosts. Well, I'm not afraid of no ghost. This is definitely an exercise in communication. Yes. Okay. Right, one more time. I'm going to try. Let's do this. I... I just don't know how to light the fucking lantern. This is the <laughs> fundamental problem here. Wait, there's a drawer. Oh, add fuel. Hold on. Is that... Wait, 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 wait. Wait a tick. Hold on. I, I, I have a breakthrough here. You have a breakthrough? Yeah. The Can little, you light the lantern? The, the Tetris-y looking cubes. Yes, those that's your fuel. Those are fuel. <laughs> oh, that's a ghost, Well, I've, th I've thrown all the fuel off to the side of the desk where I can't see it. Maybe that was a mistake. Oh, I got light. You I'm got the, light? I am the greatest video okay. game player in the world. Remember, you got to go. 
If oh. you see it behind me. This phone is getting really hot. Okay, there you go. Oh, I see light. Yeah, oh, it's a ghost right there. There's a ghost right in front of you. Run, oh my no. god, oh my god. There's a lot of ghosts in there. I okay. was hit by a ghost. Okay, one more time. I'm feeling good about this <laughs> Okay. <now. laughs> I feel like we've made some real breakthroughs here. The sense of terror is real. I think somebody should walk up behind you and grab you with a I would not like stick. that at all. Where's Joey when you need him? Okay. Oh, should I be going? Yes. I didn't know we were going here. Okay, so I have where there you are. I gotta find oh there's a light. Okay. You, mean, you want don't, more light? I can turn it up. No, 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 don't, don't 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 turn it up because it scares off ghosts. Yes, but you're gonna waste your the, fuel. All those things are fuel. All these there's blue dots everywhere on this map. Oh really? Like, right over okay, here. That's a fuel. That's fuel. Right over here is fuel. That's fuel, nice. It's nice. Can I go down the stairs here? Yeah, I'm gonna go turn up my lamp a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Burn, baby, burn. That's fuel, right? That's yeah, fuel. okay, go through this door. Let me go I'm scared off first. the ghost on the other side. Oh, come on. I got to grab it. Just there. Okay. Nope. That's okay. not working. Okay. All right. You better hurry up. I'm running low on fuel. Uh, well, that's a Lancer. That's your. That's you. Yep. There's fuel all over these desks. That's fuel. Okay. We nope. got invited to something. Get all that fuel. There's ghosts all over here. Oh Where God. are we supposed to go? This I got to get more fuel. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to go refuel real quick. Look at us communicating. I'm gonna stay put. That's a good I'm gonna hide, I'm oh, behind no. the corner. Cowardice, Norm. I'm disappointed in you. Is there anything in this like massive chalice? Out. There's I'm a ghost right there. Well, run away from it. There we go. Oh, you got more fuel. Okay, right go here. in this room over here. That's a ghost. Yep, I'm lanterning it, so I don't think it can do shit to you while I'm lanterning it. Um, I have half fuel. Oh, what am I supposed gold, to be looking treasure. for? Treasure. Well, I gotta collect the treasure. Like, for example, stuff in there. Well, hurry up with it then. Nice. Nice. Open up these cabinets. This phone is getting so hot my finger is, is physically feeling warm. Nope. No, no, I don't here. see any treasure. There's a there's, there's a piece of paper on the floor back there. How about how about this thing? I've collected that all last bed has a little chevron on it. There's a lot more fuel in here you're not picking up. There's a ton of hot spots. Like all those shelves, there's tons of them. Go out and pull all the books out. Grab that blue stuff. That looks like fuel. Yes. How about that? Precious fuel. What about the, what about? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm just throwing stuff aside. Oh, I got to refuel. Hold oh, on. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the lantern went out. Oh no, it's so dark. <laughs> well, it's really dark in here. You're gonna be fine, Norm. Just stay away from the ghosts. I was taking the light for granted. You should never take the light for granted. It's, oh no. Oh, it's a ghost. Where are you? Are you still in the same room? I'm in the big room now. Okay. There's a ton of fuel on that table. Just keep picking stuff up. Throw it, smash it. And there's more fuel behind you. Like mm -hmm. tons on those little t shelves. Yep. I'm gonna have to go refuel in a minute, but you don't have any ghosts around you right now. Just keep pulling shit off those shelves. I'll be right back. Oh. Get more fuel. I'm trying. You're not getting enough. I'm throwing all the stuff everywhere. Hey, you're the one who's going to die here if you can't pick up the fuel picking up. Go through that thing where the pentagram is. Pentagrams are good, right? I think so. Is there a thing? Is there a door? Yeah, straight ahead. With the death altar. It looks like you can go through there. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's a ghost right there. Oh, okay. you, scare him. you scared him. Nice. I got the lantern. Yeah, that was a Open, super Get fuel. You better get fuel. I got like 10 seconds of fuel left. We've scared 11 ghosts this time. I feel like we're really mastering this game. I feel like so we should, as well. We should, you know, maybe that... You, Okay. Ah, I like my... Open the cabinet! Oh yeah, the chest. Yeah, it has oh, a Oh yeah, there's a fuel in there. Oh, yeah, the rune! Take that. I got the rune! Okay, I gotta, I gotta refuel. I got the rune! Norm, I don't have any fuel left. I've got bad news and good news. Uh, there's a ghost coming right for you through the secret door. You oh, might no. want to not touch uh, him. He's uh, probably gonna kill you. I think he just killed me. Well yeah, done. I think we did pretty well. Ghost. I feel okay about that. That was pretty good. Try communicating enough to make sure that you get enough fuel. That's good advice, game. That was pretty fun. Total fuel collected, zero. It's okay. Um, that's, so, that's not bad. Like that is that is a solid for a month's work, which is essentially. I mean, obviously, not all of these games were built entirely in a month, but a yeah. lot of them were uh, the work of just. Hey, here's the month. 
Um, what else do we have? What's next on the list? Well, let's play a game called Panopticon. Hold on. That was Double Destruction. That was. Um, it's a two-player game, and I, I told the people who made it before, yep. so we're not going to do it again. Uh, this one's called Panopticon. Uh, Panopticon is you... Are, this is basically simulating the prison sequence in Guardians of the Galaxy, but you're the stooge. Oh, sorry. How does this work, Norm? So, uh, I am a security guard, and I'm going to observe the cells around me. These cells. And i got to shout if I see shenanigans going on. This is made by Louis Aviard and Ferdinand Derview and Julia Spears. So, so I'm you panning around. I'm looking for, I think, any of these prisoners trying to break out. Like, some are exercising, some are doing headstands. I hear a shattering going on. Why, why would you do a headstand? Wait. Whoa, this is really Where's disorienting. The, what are the shenanigans? Sounds like it might be easy. Oh, right there. Middle, Where? middle. he's at the bars. Is that him? No. Nope. Right. I think they escaped. Right. Right no, nope, they escaped. Oh. <laughs> wow. Tough. Wow. They, they, they might be like, you know, cutting the bars off uh -huh. of their cell. Yeah. Um, breaking things. We got to catch the shenanigans. Uh, and now we're in the cell. That's sad. Hey. We're in the cell. Well, at least you're in the cell they broke out of. And look, that's where I was back there. I was watching everyone. All right, these let's all, try this again. These cells all look the same, Norm. I know they do. OK, let's try it again. I want to see the girl that's dating the guy from American Pie. This is not Orange is the Black. You have been selected Let me practice my yell. The Don't escape! That's what I gotta do. Okay, I feel like headphones would really enhance this experience. Mm -hmm. It'll be alright. Shout to start. Here we go. What's your strategy? I don't man? see it. Oh, oh, the second, second row. Oh, right you're already escaped. Yeah. What do you look like? What do you look like? He's, he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I'll try this one more time. <laughs> this is some amazing video. All, all this is. I think we should just have the feet of Norm spinning. It's a bad idea. Don't do that. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay. Are you gonna? Are you gonna actually? I gotta. Yeah, I mean. False positives are no good. I can't punish the already guilty. Yeah, you can. Already They're, presumed guilty. This is America, man. This isn't about, it's not about rehabilitation. It's about punishment. Okay. Freeze, creep. Congratulations. Wow. Um, we should also mention that the frame rate it, that you're seeing substantially better. We're getting a lower frame rate because we're streaming video across Wi-Fi, not because the VR in this thing is running at 15 frames a second. Freeze creep. Nope. Uh, what, I could, they all look the same. That's super racist, man. They're all well, wearing orange jumpsuits. Uh huh. It's not about clothes. Uh, okay, so that's Panopticon. Um, I think that's a really neat concept. I think it probably, if you had headphones on, you were getting any kind of positional audio at all, yeah. probably is going to be a little bit better than yes. our experience here, where we have one mono speaker sitting on the right side of the that's TV. That's right. Um, what else do we have? Do you want to play? Uh, um, can you show me some steel, scorched battalion? Yeah, let's show that. So, Scorch Battalion is a tabletop warfare game. This is a lot. Are you finding that a lot of these games are third-person games? Um, no, I find that they're actually mostly first-person games. Sorry, mm. it's not fitting properly. Um, so, Scorch Battalion is a silver winner. I don't know what that means, um, but it was made by Daniel Fearon and Nathan Fearon. Um, and you take turns firing stuff at people across a destructible map. 
It's a tabletop wargaming thing. Uh, Silver Games won 50 grand each. This is cool. I can't wait to see this one. And my Gear VR in. It's totally not clamping in. Oh, hopefully I didn't break it. That would be a disappointment. That would be. How much does the Gear VR cost, Norm? 200 bucks. In addition to the already expensive cell phone. Yes. Oh, come on. What's going on? All right, I'm just going to hold my head like this. You look like Cyclops. More so. Oh, that's good advice. Thanks, Ollie Moss. We blame you every time we see one of those. No. Oh, here it goes. Okay. So I have a float in, uh, floating general. Wow. And I'm going to start. Yep. Ooh. You're getting instructions right now. It sounds like the yes. audio that I can kind of hear. This is a terrible basement you have. I know. Is it raining inside or is it just over the table? Trees are popping up. Okay. Nice. Nice. Again, this is the type of game where I wish there was positional tracking because I want to like peer in, but this does nothing. No, this, that seems like it would make you really yeah, nauseous. That, would, that is definitely making you a little nauseous. Okay, so, so you have parachuting tanks, tanks. Or parachuting. Again, the frame rate's oh. rough here. Well, probably should have put the phone in Do Not Disturb before we started I, this. I did. Well. You see, when they're talking, do you see the the flashiness? No. So they, have, they each have personalities. We are different voices. Seeing. They glow a little bit. I think that might be on your other eye. No, it's right there. It's like blinking a little bit. It is very subtle. Very, very subtle. But it's a personality-driven game. So, for example... Oh, don't tell me it crashed. Oh, oh. overheated. Oh. That's a little bit of a disappointment. This is a thing that happens with the it does. VR. Yes, and especially since we're also uh, streaming True. video. How long, what's your what's your record for time spent inside the Gear VR in one, one unbroken? 110 minutes. No bathroom breaks? No bathroom breaks. No going getting Doritos or popcorn or whatever? Nope, nope. Can you eat while you're in VR? Uh, yeah, uh, if there was like a bowl of food in front of me, yeah, I haven't tried it, but I don't see why not. You think you'd need a trough of some kind? No. Okay. No. I Just like I'd a big right. bowl of popcorn, you could totally munch on while yeah. you're vring. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and napkins. Come on, yeah, we're, lots of. We're, we're civilized. Yeah. Um, of course. So that game is like a first-person scorched earth type game. Third person. Th uh, but you do inhabit the first person of the tank. Oh, okay. You aim up, you fire, and then you try to hit the tanks. Okay. Um, what I do want to show you guys, though, is I think my favorite game that I've tried on Gear VR. And it's called Drift. Drift. This game looks awesome. Oh, this needs to be. A... Oh, I need to fix the Gear VR. Okay. Did it clip back in? It did not clip back in. We're just cursed, I think. Um, okay. Uh, is it too hot? It's too hot. Let's take a quick break. Norm, we're back. Yes, the headset has cooled off a little bit, or the phone, um, and I am now in drift. This is a moment that it's probably worth mentioning. The fan only cools off the glasses, the, the optics, not the not actual the phone. phone. That's so. right. Okay, so drift is uh, made by Ferdinand Derview and Abby, Abby Vatti. Yep. Um, music, music by yeah. Romain Dory. And I think this is probably my favorite game that I tried out from uh, the VR Jam. It's a bullet sim. Yeah, do you remember uh, Super Hot? Yeah. Super Hot was a demo Super that hot. Oculus, it's a PC game that Oculus used to demo positional tracking um, where you're dodging bullets. Here, it's also bullet time, but you are the bullet. I've always wanted to grow up and be a bullet, Norm. Tell me, are you a uh, dumb, traditional bullet, or are you some sort of newfangled, super smart bullet that can steer and aim and pew-pew people around I'm the... a fast bullet. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I can steer. Playing. Oh, there we go. But I can also tap, for example. Whoa. Woo. Hey, you got fuel. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hit the wall. So the idea is that... I can navigate by moving my head. Okay. So I'm that actually fun curving and around crazy. people. Um, and I'm curving around these awesome scenes. I gotta find the person that's green. The green person is my target. 
Okay, that person's running away. So they're your friend. Oh, got that. Nice. Did you pick up, was that bonus stuff? That's more bullet time. Ah. What's in here? Oh, oh I didn't see oh, him. Go in the vent, go in the vent, go in the vent, go in the vent, no! No! Nope. I hit the target instead. I just wanted to move on to the next level. I That's think, the first level. I think you should go through the vent. You could go through the vent if you wanted to. Seems um, like it'd be really but hard. there are four levels. The scenes okay. get increasingly complex. Um, and I think, I, you want me to try doing this one in one go? Yeah, why not? This game, uh, just it, the frame rate's a little hitchy right now. Um, it runs full Ooh. speed on the, whoa, somebody, they were shooting at you. Um, the game's running at full speed for you, right, Norm? Yep. Okay. Really smooth. If I don't survive this one, I'll play it again and, exp and uh, show you guys what's going on. Oh, it's in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think I can do it in one go. I see the green. Go behind the pork. Oh no! Oh, oh you missed! missed. You I want you to shoot the bullet out, the gun out of his hand, Norm. Okay. No so, pressure. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show you what's going on in the scene. So the guy's shooting at you. Yeah. And then you go around, and then there's like some, uh, there's a brawl here. He's yeah. throwing the table. Can you shoot through and those then, bottles? Woo! Or does that kill you? And there's an arcade room. Oh my goodness. And someone's being shot there. This is a very violent place to hang out. It's like mob ball. And back in the kitchen, someone's cooking. Going behind the door here. Oh my goodness. Think we'll go for his gun? Go for the oh, gun. Oh, you missed again! I'm not gonna go for his gun. Go for the gun! No. You could have bullet timed right into that thing. I wanna go to the next level. Okay, one more time. Alright, I'm gonna go super fast. I'm gonna drift. That seems like a great idea. I'm gonna drift into. I can't do this turn without slow motion. Can you see through time, Norm? Oh my god, there it goes. Oh god. The best part about Come this on. game isn't. The game, it's watching you flail around. I'm a bullet, Will. I, I realize you're a bullet. I'm a bullet. This is... All right, I got the red room, okay. Go through there again, nice. Nice, now I'm okay. in the kitchen. Okay, can I make this turn? I saw Oh, a... hey, there was a bonus point down there. Well, I have, I have plenty of bullet time left. Get the gun. I'm not going to get the gun. I need to hit him. Shoot the gun, Norm. Hit Shoot the, the gun. Chest. Shoot the gun. Oh. I needed to pass that stage. You should have hit the gun. This next one I have not been able to beat. It is uh, it is difficult. Okay. So pull the trigger. The music gets increasingly dramatic. The music. Look, he's running away. It's a shootout. Oh my god. The guy's doing the guns of Kimball. There's a safe. Nope. Oh. Sorry, Tom or Rob. Uh, this is very, the music is very reminiscent of, of Hitman, and it's kind of classical with a little bit of a something else mm -hmm. going on. There's some. Um, it's like a little Roomba with Ave Maria or something. A little Fifth there. Element going on. Oh my God! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm on the safe. Whoa! You flew going into the vault? In the vault. Whoa! Oh, look at that! That's craziness. This is really cool. Upstairs. There's. I think, it. I, I think I lost. Oh. oh. I saw the guy in the green. He was behind the glass. I think maybe there's a hole in the lower right-hand corner. I need to save enough bullet time. Yeah. To so when I go around. up there, I need to like get some situational awareness. Um, it reminded me also of the Fifth Element. So, oh. See that shark? Uh huh. Okay, he's upstairs. Oh god. With the blue lady singing. Yes. Yeah. A little bit of that. The diva, I think, is her name. Yep. I can't remember. I, I okay. should watch that again. I haven't watched that in a long time. All right, I can do this. Are I these like your the old, trails. They yeah, are. These are. This is how you failed in the past. It's my past. So green before was good for you to run through. I assume green there is bad news. Uh, that green was like a different shade of green. All right, I think I have enough now. Can you go through okay. that window right there? Okay, come on. Where do I go? In the water? No. no oh no. yes, it was in the water. It was in the oh. water. Well, it was I in the go... water all along. It gave you a hint. It said, "Did you know that your bullet was waterproof?" I had to go in the water. That's awesome. You should have just read the uh, the quick tip. Uh oh. Oh whoa! That was a jumping shot. I, this is a new, completely new level for me. Okay, <laughs> this might take. <laughs> Shame on <laughs> you, sir. I can do this. What if what if it started you in like the middle of a school bus full of school children? Okay. Have you ever actually tried to do that? It really hurts when you land. Whoa! What up here? Oh god. Yep. Oh. Oh god. Sir. Shame okay. on you. 
Norm, how are you doing? You sound like you're getting a little bit winded. It's it's not easy. Life is a bullet. Can you shoot your own ass? I don't think you can. I think you should try that. Yeah, it's ah. bullet. I think you need to go up and over the railing. This toy game um, that's also fun to play standing up because mm. you're basically acting like bullet time, even though you're the bullet. Have you ever been around a dog or anything while this is going on? Like. My dog does not like this oh god, behavior. Oh god. Oh left, you missed it. You I missed, missed it. Oh whoa! What was that? I don't know. Alright, one more time? Yeah, I say keep going. <laughs> These are I can't wait to see the gifs out of this. They're gonna be amazing. I'm also holding on to the headset because we had some technical difficulties with You bet your Wookiee. Oh, oh there goes yeah, some extra bullet time. I'll take that. Now where am I supposed to go, Will? I don't know. Oh, there, it's, 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 there, it's, there, 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 yep. Yep, yep, okay. Whoa, that's an explosion. Oh, I so think you close. need to go down to the left. There looked like there was a gap on the left side below. Okay, I do need to get that green, Yeah. though. Does bullet time recharge in this, or is it a finite well, resource? That's, that's the green is the bullet time recharge. Oh, okay. And I know in, in this room down here, there's one no. right there, oh, okay. okay. God. Okay. Oh. Mm. I don't know if I can get this. All right, I can do it one more time. I'm, yeah, I'm standing I think up. You got it. It's kind of a squat. It's unfortunate for everyone involved. God. I can't get that turn. Right you after need, I get you're, the green. you're coming straight into that corner. You need to swing around, make a loop. Okay, so you're, you're flying, you're flying, you're flying. Now up and to the left. Yep, down. Okay, nope. Yep, no, hug the wall. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I got it, I got yeah, it. Yeah, you got it, okay. Jeez. Oh, no, nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this is it. This, this is it, this is the last, last time. I got one last try, and then we gotta move on. for all the marbles. He's gonna overheat again. <laughs> Okay, so hug the other wall. Oh, maybe if you didn't use so much bullet time, you wouldn't have to pick up the bullet time now, recharge. Uh, 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 I think oh you god. missed it. I got tap tap. Oh god, I didn't miss it. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah. I was close. I at least got as far as I could. In the first that first step for this try. So this is uh, drift again. Oh. This was made by um, Abby Batty and Ferdinand Dervu. Uh, Dervo, Dervo, I guess. Uh, and uh, it's really I, this warm. game looks awesome. Yeah, it's a really fun game. Super cool. Um, I want to play this on. I think it's also a game that works best. It shows off a game that works best with a tetherless system. Like sitting at a desk, sitting down mm -hmm. is not the way to play this game. Well, standing up, being able to spin around 360. Uh, that's one of the advantages of Gear VR. Did you did you find yourself falling over and whacking into stuff when you were doing that? Almost falling over okay. for sure. Yeah. Um, you got to kind of. Brace yourself. One of the things that I really like about game jams is oftentimes people will do kind of the barest bones art and you end up with stuff that ends up being really cool and minimalist, like like Drift. Mm -hmm. um, what's the next game on our list? Uh, one final game um, that we can show today uh, that we got working. This is called Colossi, and it's actually not a game. It's, um, it's a story. It's this, an interactive story. This is by Nick Pitham, Joe Chen, Jasmine Lai. Kevin Dart, Daniel Sproul, Alex Grigg, Aaron Hillelai, and Nelson Bowles. That's right. And it's um, it's a virtual reality story called Coloss. Colossi? Coloss. I, yeah. The art style is fantastic. Oh, look at that little crab. Hmm. Normal looks around. like you have crabs. I have one crab. I bet there's more. You know, you never have just one crab. You got birds flying around. Kevin Dart, the artist who uh, worked on... Uh, did, concept art for Big Hero 6, and I think he was an animator on Powerpuff Girls. Um, he does some really cool stuff. He actually did the art design, I, I believe, for this game. Cool. So, he's gonna hunt the crab, this guy? <gasps> nope. Oh, don't tell me it froze. Oh no, Phew. crab went away. What's going on? What's, what's going on? Oh, that siren wasn't in the game, that was outside our office. <gasps> Walking up. Oh man, Thor is lovely. Oh, oh wow, it's a giant colossus. That is a one huge ass, tattooed ass even. 
ass. Oh, wow. I thought the other thing was ass. That ass is even bigger. That thing is enormous. What's your sense of scale feel like on this? How tall does that feel like? Is it like a tall, as tall as two buildings? Um, pretty big. Uh, a lot has been said about VR being, you know, like as awesome as having IMAX in your home. And, you know, field of view is really important for that. Mm -hmm. I think field of view for this, I can still see the edges of a screen. Yeah. Um, Does it still feel like a dive mask? A little bit like a dive mask. Uh, but, you know, that freedom, perfect head tracking uh, does give a really good sense of awe, if not perfect presence I mean, and immersion. So we spent time with CB1 last week. How, how does this feel? Um, People are going to ask, you know, that stuff. 577 PPI, uh, super high um, pixel density, but this is still uh, a Pentel Stripe OLED. So I can see the pixels if I, you know, tune this finely. I can actually see that they are almost like those diagonal pixels. They do look much better going from this to the DK2, for example. Okay. Uh, this is much better in DK2. Uh, the lenses are different. I don't believe these, these are not Fresnel lenses, the ones that are being used in CV1. Mm -hmm. um, so don't diffuse the, that screen door. But at this pixel density, uh, the screen door really is not that noticeable. Um, I mean, we saw text, text you can read in Oculus Home. Things were popping up. Uh, looked just fine. Oh, look at his face. Oh, he looks friendly. He looks like a giant Goron. And what's he? What's he doing? Looking over there. He's, he's trying to grab that flower. It's hard, really hard to see him. He's not very contrasty against the cave ceiling. And then our hero with a spear. Are you gonna kill the giant? Oh no. Are you gonna kill the Colossus? Don't. What's the shiny light? Is his heart? I, I believe it must be his heart. Don't. Don't. No. 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 Don't stab him in the heart. He's our Look. friend. The, the, the cave uh, wait, painting. Go back. I want to see what happens to him. Okay, sorry. Well, he's kind of enamored by painting. it. This says the story changes uh, is steered based on what you're looking at. So maybe if you look at that long enough, instead of stabbing our pal, Chad, the Colossi, he'll uh, go over and poke a hole in the wall. Oh, no. No, he's going he's gonna to want us. Oh, um, oh dear. Not, not stab it, but he wants it. It's so shiny. Don't, don't grab it. If it glows blue like that, it's probably radioactive, dude. I mean, I don't know a lot, but I've watched a lot of movies. Oh, he's grabbed it. Oh, boy. He's, he's in the chest. Hold on to it. Is, do you think this Iron Man, this, this Colossi is Iron uh, Man for no. Colossi? What if he was the cave in Afghanistan? Oh, he's just, this is really a lovely game. Oh, no. Oh, this seems like it's bad news Ooh. for the Colossi. Oh. And now he's turned into some glowing wow. energy. Wow, an amorphous blob. Yes. This is just like that episode of Futurama. What happens now? For that, you'll have to get the, the game. Oh. So there we go. Um, Beautiful storytelling. Same. I mean, all oh, great art. Um, and, just, you know, the fixed camera angles that you explore what's going on um, and kind of let the story happen around you. Mm -hmm. What... Um, so we played, what, five of the games, I think, or six games from four, the VR Four of the gym. games, uh, you know, some of them uh, work without us streaming it, but yeah. once you start streaming, then they'll start crashing. Interesting experiences. We got things that were uh, asymmetrical. You mm -hmm. were doing something. Uh, the winner of the VR Jam is actually a two-player Oculus game. Oculus on Oculus. Yes. Okay. Uh, which we don't have two, um, two of the headsets or yeah. two Galaxy phones, so we can't demo that. Um, but things like Drift... Um, the Colossi story experience. Uh, there's a great Van Gogh one. Uh, even like Panopticon, that's that's one that really benefits from a swivel chair standing experience. But still, I know people are hankering for VR right now. Yeah. This is a thing that you should get only if you're building games for VR, probably yeah. at this point, right? Yeah. I mean, the, there's no positional tracking, so if you get any kind of VR sickness at all, you're going to feel real bad if you use this after a while, right? Or, or is it better it, to just go around? It's not a walking around experience. Uh, you know, the cockpit games are tough because I want to look, I want to lean forward, but really it's a lean back game. You know, the Oculus, Oculus Cinema is still the killer app for this because you're leaning back, you're just moving your head to look at the screen. Um, what? And I, I think those are going to be the best things for us for a while. How does it work with the controller? Is it, is it okay with the gamepad? It's okay, yeah. Some games are great with the gamepad. Hero Bound, still great with the gamepad. The third-person action games with fixed cameras. 
I think are great. Um, and of course, CV1 is shipping with its own gamepad. So a lot of the games that are being developed on this right now that are going to come out for the CV1 are gamepad-based games. So uh, right now, 200 bucks for this, another, so let's say, 200 or $300 on contract for the phone, more if you're off contract. Um, if you want to build VR games, this seems like the best way to get started right now. Because yeah. you don't have to have an expensive PS4 dev kit or you know the Morpheus hardware or, or an Oculus you know dev kit or any of the other stuff, any big giant gaming PC. Uh, it seems like a good way to get started if you want to build some VR games. And like the Oculus and uh, Steam VR for that matter, Unity and Unreal Engine both work with this, right? Yep, that's so. right. So that's it. It's the it's what is the official name of this thing? It's the Gear VR Innovator Edition for Galaxy S6. Really rolls off the tongue, Samsung. Uh, if you made a game for the VR Jam or have played some and want us to try it out, send us a note. Post comments below. Yeah. And uh, in the future, it might be easiest easier for us to demo just one game, for example, and do single game of the week type demo. Also, if you have experience capturing off of this and you have a better way to capture, let us know. We'd yeah. love to hear about that too. Mirror OP is okay but it could be better. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you next time. See ya. Bye.